guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? You should be seeing this video sometime in the middle of November, 2022. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. Uh, keep your eyes on my Etsy shop. There should be an update coming soon in the next week or two. I'm uh, vigilantly working on those in my spare time. So I do live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we have one rescue dog. His name is Camo. So uh, for the past couple of years, you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. So all of the links for Wings will be down below in the description box, as will any other information that I talk about today. <laughs> so go and always check out the description box of any videos that you watch on YouTube. Uh, so what they did is they asked us for specific handmade items um, every month of the year, and this is our last month. So the items that they asked for for the month of November were toys for boys, and um, they also were accepting two baby blankets per household. So since it is the middle of November, I'm going to ask that if you have not already sent in your donations for November, um, that perhaps you hold off because we do need to have them in before Thanksgiving. Uh, they won't take any donations after Thanksgiving. So I do appreciate it. If you were planning on donating, um, you probably want to have them shipped out like today or tomorrow so that they get here before Thanksgiving. That way I can deliver it to them um, around Thanksgiving. So I mean, they're going to be eating turkey with everyone else. So um, I guess if it comes a day after, it's probably okay for me to, to deliver to them. Uh, but if you guys did plan on donating for November, please get those sent in ASAP and have them sent here before. Uh, the post office box where you send them to is also down below in the description box. Uh, but I do need them in before um, Thanksgiving. Okay, so <laughs> for this update, I actually have, uh, you'll see there's two parts. I have 20 donations, so I'm gonna split them up and do 10 donations per video, so for each part. Um, so come back in a day or two and look for part two for, I think this is the second update for November. Um, and please, we will not be accepting any donations in December, probably not even January. And hopefully they will have a list of what they want for next year, maybe sometime in February. That would be awesome. As soon as I know what the list is, I will get that out to you guys. Um, so if you are interested in donating to Wings, you can get started on that. Uh, remember, I always encourage you to donate locally. It does help your community and your own people and it saves you on postage because postage is crazy. <laughs> so, all right. So we're going to get started. Um, if you have any questions about wings, you can email me roselikescrochet at gmail.com. And I always encourage you to leave a positive comment down below as well um, if you really like something. Uh, and if you donated, go back in a day or two and read the comments. A lot of times people will ask what pattern you used if you didn't make mention of it when I open your package. So um, go back and read the comments. It's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so the first package I have here is from Penny and Penny is from Vermont. And it looks like Penny sent two baby blankets. So I have a note uh, on a heart-shaped piece of paper. It says, Rose, I absolutely love your channel and all that you do to give back. I am so excited to be able to donate to Wings. I have also donated to my local community. Much love and light from Penny. Aw, thanks so much, Penny. Thanks for donating locally and sending some stuff here for us. Okay, so she's got two blankets in there with some notes. The first note says, the yarn is one that I picked up at Hobby Lobby clearance. Yarn B something. <laughs> okay, no problem. And then... She says here, this first blanket is a bag o day tutorial pattern made to be this size. Okay, so here is, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So here is the first blanket, you guys. And oh my goodness gracious. So I'm gonna show you the stitch close up so you can see it. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love it. That's like a side to side, uh, corner to corner. I don't know what those are called. And then um, she didn't even have to put a border on it. It just made its own border. It's so pretty. There you go. Okay, so that is the first blanket. Oh my gosh, Penny, thank you so much for sending this. The second one, she's got a note here and it says, 
this star is from the crochet crowd. I believe, don't quote me, that Mike has this pattern um, on his tutorial. Okay, so, oh, it's a star blanket. This is so pretty. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. It's a little wrinkled from shipping, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, I never think to make blankets in one color, but look at how pretty that is. I hope you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, Penny, these are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sending these blankets over here um, to Chicago for the little babies at Wings. I do appreciate it. I know the mamas and, and papas that are there will also appreciate it, but the blankets are gorgeous. Thank you so much. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Kimmy and Kimmy is from California. And look at that beautiful card. By the way, you guys don't have to send in cards, but it's nice to know like what patterns you used, if you know what patterns you used. All right, she says, hi Rose, how's everything going? Wow, this year is coming to an end quickly. Yeah, it went by fast. Enclosed, you will find two blankets. I used a YouTube tutorial by Hooked by Robin, the mini bean stitch, and the border I used a YouTube tutorial by Natty Crochet, N-A-T-I. Um, so let me see what it says here. Um, the light pastel. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. She's got, oh, these are so beautiful. She's got a little card on there that says machine wash and what it's made of. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. This is uh, the mini bean stitch from Hooked by Robin. And the border um, is the tutorial from Natty Crochet. So there's the border. And then you can see the bean stitch. She says, this light pastel was Baby Bee Sweet Delight. And the border was I Love This Yarn. And then the greenish one, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. There's the greenish one. You guys can see the colors. She says this one was using Urban Chic and the border was Lion Brand Ice Cream. Thank you, Rose, for all you do. Take care and thank you to Carrots for helping out backstage from Kimmy. <laughs> she doesn't help me at all. She just tolerates all the boxes that come into the house. No, she does. She helps me unload the car sometimes and load it up. So she, she's a good kid. Kimmy, thank you so much for the beautiful blankets. I really do appreciate it. They're gorgeous. I love the bean stitch. I don't think I've ever done the mini bean stitch. I need to go look that up. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Terry and Terry is from Maryland. And she sent a baby blanket and it's tied up so nicely that I don't wanna untie it. This is how it came in the package. It's beautiful. I love the packaging and how you like um, put the, the tie on it and everything. So I'm going to leave it like this for whoever gets this for their baby. They can, it'll be like a present to them. Um, so there is no note in the package that I could find. So I'm not sure what pattern this is, but I'm going to show you guys the stitches. Isn't that beautiful? It almost looks like a crisscross stitch, but it's not. And then I'm going to show you the border. It's just a shell border, but it looks beautiful. Let's see if you guys can see that. Oh my goodness, Terry, thank you so, so much for sending this beautifully wrapped baby blanket for one of the babies at Wings. That's absolutely incredible and thoughtful of you. And I appreciate everyone who's made a donation to Wings this year. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Dee Dee and she's from Iowa. And there is the card pretty and it says hi rose wow another year of donations coming to an end i am glad i had my blankets ready to go because october went by so fast the purple one is a pattern from a hirschner's kit but i used ice cream yarn okay so here is oh my goodness that is so pretty it is um it's like um like a diamond shape or a rhombus shape some kind of shape it's not square but it's so pretty Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Here, I'm gonna see if you guys can, um, oh my gosh, that's such a small stitch. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, Dee Dee, that's a lot of work. I don't like doing a lot of work. <laughs> Okay, and then she says, this is so pretty. She says the light blue one is the midwife blanket. I love the midwife blanket. Um, also known as the flower box pattern. Okay, so let me show you the midwife blanket. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. See, this is more my style. I love doing the midwife blanket. It's gorgeous. 
This is absolutely gorgeous, Dee Dee. Oh my gosh. And then she says, both of them were very fun makes, even if the purple one was a bit time consuming since it is all worked in back loop only. Yeah, kudos to you, Dee Dee. <laughs> Looking forward to the new list for next year. Happy holidays to everyone from Dee Dee. Oh my gosh, Dee Dee, thank you so much for sending these beautiful baby blankets. I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. I appreciate you sending those to the babies here in Chicago. They're obviously going to get a lot of good use out of them. So thank you so much. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Sheba, and Sheba is from Colorado. And I didn't see a note in the box, but I see two beautiful baby blankets, and they have the yarn labels on them. So I'm going to take this off real quick. So this first one is using uh, Premier Parfait Layers. And it looks like the color on this one is called Lime Aid. And there might be other colors in here too, or maybe that's not the right label. I don't know. We'll see. The label says Lime Aid. So let me show you guys the blanket. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Oh, Sheba, thank you so much. Look at this, you guys. Here, let me see if it's, it's so soft. Okay, so this looks like, this looks like a lot of work. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Here you go. I'm going to show you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. I love the colors and it's so soft. Okay. And then the second one is also Premier Layers, uh, Parfait Layers. Oh my gosh. This is even more beautiful. Okay. The label says that this color is called Playtime. So let me show you guys this one. You guys, these are so soft. Oh my gosh. So this is like, um, it's not the waffle stitch. It's like a basket weave. Here, I'm going to show you guys. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so beautiful. Sheba, thank you so, so much for sending these beautiful, beautiful blankets. They're so soft and like it's tightly woven. And so it will definitely keep some babies warm here in Chicago this winter. Um, yeah, we went from 74 degrees like a week ago and we're down to a high of 24, I think, um, today, tomorrow, whenever you're seeing this, it's really cold here. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sheba, for sending the beautiful blankets. I absolutely love them and they're so soft. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Chantel and she's from Canada. Hi! Oh my gosh. Okay, here is the card. And wait till you see what's in the box, you guys. Oh, right there. <laughs> okay, she says, Hi, Rose. I feel very grateful to have you to receive some of the amigurumis slash toys I make and to transfer them to the kids at Wings. All year long, all I crochet 99% of the time are amigurumis. So with all those toys and no kids around, I feel so lucky to be able to send some to you for Wings in February and November. And the rest is going to Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet for her annual Garfield School make-along eat each month of August. All, and also it brings me so much happiness to be a part of the beautiful and super, super movement of crafters reunited to send a little bit of happiness with crochet comments and by watching your videos. Thank you from Chantel in Canada. And then she's got a whole list of what's in the box. And so you guys, if you want the patterns for these, she's going to tell us. Okay, she says, hello, Rose. Here's some info on the toys I sent in case someone is interested in the pattern. They are all different for younger kids or older ones for all tastes. They are to play, to cuddle, be a desk friend, pocket pal, backpack buddy, or a keychain. Um, I also printed this email and put it in the box for you to read as you show the toys. I hope it helps. There's a little note in the card. Thank you, Rose from Chantel. Yeah, so I know I get lots of emails about what's in boxes, but then I forget to, you know, have my iPad ready so I can read them. I'll try and remember to do that. Okay, so <laughs> you guys, here's the box. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so this is a little stingray. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, so there's the stingray. I hope you guys can see him. It says, this is Ralph the Ray by Spin a Yarn Crochet on her website, and it's a free pattern. Oh my gosh. So she made it into a keychain. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, Little Green Bat. Um, I think that's this guy right here. <laughs> that's 
so cute. Okay, so here is the little green bat, but you have to see his wings in the back, you guys. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And look at his little teeth. Stop it. Okay, this is Cute Bat Amigurumi Tutorial Halloween Crochet Pattern by Toy by Valerie on YouTube. This is also free. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, Little Green Frog. So this is also, she made it into a keychain. So there is the little frog. It says, this is part of Cora the Candy Corn Witch by Kylie Murphy, Tiny Friends Crochet website. This is also a free pattern. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, there's a blue frog. That's not a blue frog. Is this a blue frog? Here's the blue frog. Oh my gosh. So this is also a keychain. I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> This is so cute. Okay, so there is the little blue frog. It says, this is called Leggy Froggy No So Pattern by Not Jaded Co. And this is a paid pattern on Etsy. So this is the little blue frog. And if you guys miss something, let me know and I'll, I'll read you back the pattern. You could just comment. A uh, green frog with a red mushroom hat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is a little green frog and his hat is a little mushroom. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> okay, this is called the Poppable Mushroom Frog by Crochet Nerd on Instagram and Ribbler. It's a free pattern. So there is the frog with the mushroom hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, blue platypus. How cute is this? You see his hat, he's got on a top hat and there's his tail. Oh my gosh. This is Sum Sum Baby Platyp Platypus by Yarnaline.com website. It's a free pattern. So you guys can all go check out these free patterns. White Baby Chick. Oh my gosh. In, in an eggshell too. Uh, this is inspired by the Baby Snowflake pattern by Craft and, and Do Queens Grundio.com website. This is a free pattern on the website. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. White mini teddy bear, I believe is this one, mini bear. It's so cute too. It says inspired by Toothberry by Sparkloud on Ribbler and it's a free pattern. So there's this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Black and white panda. How cute is that? So this guy is Panda by Little Muggles website. It's a free pattern. Oh my gosh, Chantel, you are so super talented. This is amazing. Blue and white kitty cube. Oh my gosh, I need to make one of these, except it's got too many parts to sew. Okay, it's it called the Fruity Cube Kitty by the Sleepy Fox Treasures on Etsy and Ribbler, and it is a paid pattern. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. Chantel, like, I don't know. You're so, so super talented. 11 and 12 are footballs. So there's a blue football and a brown football. Whoops. So there are the little footballs. They're so cute. And it says, this is called Football Amigurumi by Stringy Ding Ding. And it's free on her website. I love them. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, 13 is a white polar bear. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this guy? You guys see him? He slid on the ice. Oh, and this is inspired by Arctic Ermine by Neo Gurumi on Ravelry and Etsy, and it's a paid pattern. So here you can see his little tushy and <laughs> his legs. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yellow Pumpkin, she just said there are many tutorials on YouTube. So there is the little pumpkin. I don't know if you guys remember, but I have a problem with doing pumpkins. <laughs> I can't do them well. Yellow, orange, and white Candy Corn Man. Oh, how cute is that? Uh, it says, part of the Cora the Candy Corn Witch by Kylie Murphy, Tiny Friends Crochet website, and it's a free pattern. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, uh, this one is the orange and red, orange red baby seal. Look at that. No way. 
This is called Baby Seal by SP Sands Sand Steel website and it's a free pattern. Oh my gosh, this is just absolutely precious. Chantel, you are so talented and I am so appreciative that you shared your talents with us here. And then the last one is called the Bread Bunny. <laughs> it's, it's a loaf of bread with bunny ears. <laughs> This is called the Bunny Baguette by Twinkie Chan on Etsy, and it's a paid pattern. <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, she says, okay, so this was part of her email. Uh, yes, <laughs> and then she's got, she added more supplies if people want to make them into necklaces or something else. So I'm going to leave that in the box. Oh my God, Chantel, thank you so much for sending all of these amazing, amazing, I can't pick a favorite. If I had to pick a favorite, it would kind of be tied between the candy corn man and I think the polar bear because he's just so cute. Oh my gosh, they're all amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to make these for the kids and then send them all the way to Chicago from Canada. I really, really do appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna try not to play with these as I'm putting them away, but um, I'm gonna put these away and we'll get to the next box. Hang on. All right, you guys, the next box also comes from someone from Canada. Her name is Karina. Hi, Karina. And look at this beautiful doggy card. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't see my dog on there though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, she says, hi Rose, I'm sending two baby blankets and some toys for boys. I've also enclosed some gifts for you and carrots. I'm sure she will share. Um, I see what it is and she's not gonna share it with me. <laughs> Best wishes and thanks for another great wings donation year, Karina. Oh my gosh, Karina, you are so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna show you the baby blankets, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the first one. It's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you guys can see that. It's like double crochets and then there's some double crochets with a chain space. Oh my gosh, and you guys, the border is like all single crochets. You have the patience of a saint, Karina, because I don't know, that's not my thing. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. And it's pink, blue, and cream, so anyone can use this. I mean, babies don't care, right? It's the moms that care. Here is the second one. Oh, okay, so there's um, uh, a yarn band for this one. It's Karen Baby Cakes, and the colorway is called Primary. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the baby blanket. This is beautiful. Show you guys the stitch. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. There's pom-poms on it. Shut the front door. Look at those pom-poms. I am in love with those pom-poms. And look at the border. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. The pom-poms just totally made this entire blanket. <laughs> okay, and then we have some toys. Oh, they're snakes. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at the googly eyes on the snake. So here is one. <laughs> These are so awesome. This is like that velvet yarn, you guys. I can tell without even touching it. There's another snake. Oh my gosh, how fun. Did you use a pattern on this, Karina? I need to make some of these. Oh my gosh. And look at how cute this guy is. No way. I love these snakes. Okay, Karina, leave a comment. And let us know if, if you have um, a pattern. Here is what she sent from Canada for my daughter. This is, um, Canada's got it right when it comes to food allergies. My daughter has peanut allergies. And Canada, a lot of the stuff you can get in Canada is made in peanut-free facilities. So usually my, my dealer for this is Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter, but Karina, I might have to hit you up for these every once in a while. Thank you so much for sending these for carrots. That's absolutely amazing. By the way, we do have Kit Kats here and she can't have them because they're, um, there's a possibility of contamination. <laughs> and Smarties are way better than M&Ms, I'm just saying. For any M&M fans, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's these guys right here. Those are so yummy. Okay, and then here is... A little bag for me. Oh my gosh, I have never seen this label before. This must be a Canada thing. So there's all kinds of beads in there. 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm gonna see if I can use these for my stitch markers. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I see ones that are absolutely gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Karina, thank you so much for sending the candy for carrots and the beads for me and the toys for the um, little people at Wings and the baby blankets are gorgeous. I do appreciate that. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Kim and she's from Missouri and she has a YouTube channel here. She is called Kim the Regretful Yarn Addict and it's not because she regrets any of the yarn she purchases. She regrets the yarn she did not purchase. <laughs> Kim, thank you so much. She actually did send me an email um, and says so she forgot to put a note in the box. So I did find her email on my iPad here. Let me see what she says. She says, hi, Rose. I forgot to put a note in the box I sent. So the Pipsqueak yarn blanket is just a granny square, I think. Okay, so that is this one. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Okay, so here I'll show you guys. This is just a granny square blanket and just a granny square blanket is definitely not derogatory. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Oh my gosh. And this is so soft. You always think of using pipsqueak as like an, um, like a border, but not the whole thing. Oh my gosh. It's so soft. Okay. And then she says the other one is made with ice cream roving and the pattern is cakes and candles by the secret yarnery. Okay. So here, that's this one. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. And I think if you want more information, she did show these on her YouTube channel. I'm not sure which video it was, uh, but go and check out Kim, the Regretful Yarn Addict. She's such a sweetie and she's super talented. Um, I'll link her down below so you guys go over and subscribe to her and tell her Rose sent you. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful, Kim. I love them. Okay, and then she says... The amigurumi are all things I made in the past and put in a tote, so I don't recall any of the patterns, except that they were made using tutorials I found on YouTube. Thanks from Kim. Okay, so Kim, thank you so much for sending these. Oh my gosh, look at this little stingray. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Look at him. I love him, Kim. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a jelly. Ah! Here's another one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Wait, there's three of them. <gasps> Shut the front door. Look at how sweet those are. Oh my gosh, I love them. Okay, and then we have some little mini elephants. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Hold on, you guys, there's another one. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then there's another one with pink ears, no way. And look at his little pink tail. <gasps> no way, Kim, these are so sweet. Okay, and then we have a teddy bear, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving your amigurumi skills, they're amazing. And then we have a dinosaur. <laughs> I love him too. Oh my gosh, Kim, thank you so much for sending all of these awesome amigurumi. This is so cute. I do appreciate you so much um, for thinking about sending people uh, here at Wings some of your handmade items. I know that they will appreciate it. All right, I think we have one more box to go for this update, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys, the last box comes from Jennifer. She's from Ohio and she has a YouTube channel too. It's called Crafty Bones. So I will link her down below as well if you guys can go and check her out. She did not leave a note in the box, but she does videos specifically to show what she's sending to Wings. Um, so you can probably find that on her YouTube channel if you want to know what patterns she used. Now I know she used blanket yarn for all this, so wait till you guys see what she sent. Oh my gosh! I love, love, love them. Here is a big turtle. I hope you guys can see that. Oh my gosh. And look at his face. And look at his little tail. Oh my God, he's perfect. Jennifer, these are much better in person than they are on video. <laughs> she made some dinosaurs. <laughs> I love this. I don't know if you guys can see. It's one of those what is it? Try, try whatever's. <laughs> They're so cute. This is so cute. And it's so soft and squishy because it's blanket yarn. Here's another one. Oops. Sorry. I dropped a snake. <laughs> Here's another one of these guys. 
Oh my gosh, they're so cute, Jennifer. I am in love with these guys. Some little one is going to absolutely have a blast with this. You guys, there's little horns on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, Jennifer. I love them. I absolutely love them. Okay, but there's more dinosaurs, you guys. Wait, is this another one? This is another one. Except he is solid glue. Oh my gosh. And look at his little horns and his nose. Oh my gosh. He is amazing. And these are so big. Oh my gosh. Jennifer, I love you. And I thank you so much for sending these amazing Amigurumi. Here are also two dinosaurs. <laughs> They're so adorable. And they've got the little spikes on their backs. Look at that. No way. No way. Did you guys even see the eyeballs on that one? <laughs> They're so awesome. These are so awesome. I think there's going to be a big fight over who gets these guys because I don't even want to give them up, but you know I will. <laughs> then we have some snakes. Check this out. Okay, so this is um, this is absolutely incredible. Incredible. Um, here's another one just like this. You guys, I need to make some of these. I have a lot of blanket yarn. I need to make some snakes. Look at that. So they can just walk around with a little snake around their neck and fight with each other. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jennifer, thank you so much for sending these amazing, amazing Amigurumi toys for boys. I really, really do appreciate um, everyone who's taken the time to make donations to Wings. I do appreciate that. And um, look for part two in about a, in another day or two. And um, yeah, if you haven't already sent in your donations, please make sure they get here before Thanksgiving. I do appreciate that. All right. So remember to like and share this video if you can and leave a positive comment down below. And if you've donated, come back in a day or two and read the comments. Um, and that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.